Oh, hello. DMA here, Dungeon Master Alex. I just wanted to uh, produce this video because it's been a while since I produced any content. And uh, I uh, have been pretty busy in real life and, and props to those guys who do it every day. It's uh, pretty difficult to do every day and keep projects rolling. But, um, you know, I have family responsibilities and so that takes precedence. Um, but I do try to keep up with you guys so that uh, we have um, some interesting things to show and talk about. So what I have for you today is a bit of a mystery. What's in the box? Well, it's not really a box. It's more like a bag. It's, in fact, an Ikea bag that I got. And I got a bunch of these. And... Um, they're about a dollar ninety nine to two fifty, I think. I can't remember exactly what, but it was really, really cheap, and I ended up getting a bunch of them, um, just for storage of other things, not to mention um, some of my crafting stuff. So, kind of want to show you what it looks like. Here, you can see, you know, it's a pretty good size, you know, and it's got these straps on the bottom if you want to carry it like a backpack. Straps on the top here, you can carry it like a bag or a little box. So, it's pretty nice. And I thought that it would be perfect for all of my, storing all of my items. And um, here, I'm going to turn that a little bit so you guys can see better. Um, and storing all of my items and uh, for uh, situations where um, I had to, like, take my stuff to someone else's house. Because that's always a problem, you know, if you're storing in boxes and stuff like that. And so, in fact, if you... Open it up, it's kind of nice little zippers, although the one on top just ends, so it's, but it still allows you to just kind of open it up and, and get stuff out. So in fact, I do store my stuff in, in boxes like this, and um, I have these boxes kind of, uh, I like to keep all of my stuff pretty well organized. So I know where it is, and I can just at a moment's notice, if I'm DMing, I can just go ahead and, and know that it's in, that the stuff that I need is in this particular box. So these are dungeon features, which like, like doors, you know, there's some doors in here and columns, and you can see also like some, uh, you know, maybe some rubble for uh, dungeon corridors. So that's uh, one thing. And then also, and notice notice how it just comes out real easy. You know, you don't have to kind of dig around in there or anything like that. You know, this, this, is, this is vegetation, you know, and you can see like little bits of vegetation. I'm going to be adding to these boxes and adding more stuff to them because they still have plenty of room. So this one is environmental conditions. Primarily I've got just fire in there, but I'm going to eventually add, um, you know, more stuff like mud and, you know, uh, maybe debris and stuff like that. So then I have a, further along in the box, I've got a larger one. As you can see, it's a pretty large, bo pretty large box, and, and it only takes up about half of this thing. I mean, it's this, caverns and subterranean features. So stuff that's underground. It's mostly the modular um, modular cavern uh, features. But I have things like like vertical climb representations. Uh, then I also have uh, like squeezed kind of uh, locations. You know, if, if PCs are going to be going through squeezed locations. So I'll move those over there. Bag of boulders. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Bag of boulders. So it's just filled with a bunch of... Uh, rocky boulders, so that's cool. You know, stalagmites, stalagmites, right? Because they might reach the roof, so just like DM Scotty says. Then I've got these uh, columns right here, so let's put those down. And, uh, you know, environmental conditions like uh, rubble and stuff. I might, you know, switch that around to the other environmental thing, but it seems like it goes with, it goes with, um, uh, it goes with uh, caverns and stuff like that. Here's a boulder that goes on the ground. And then, of course, um, you know, the cavern walls that uh, DM Scotty created for his modular, uh, modular um, uh, cavern system. So, so that's pretty awesome. All of that pretty much fits, you know, and, and, it, and this is all, you know, all of this stuff is pretty much fits in here. You sometimes have to kind of move things around and, um, you know, it doesn't quite work the way that you think it will but but if you move things around you know it all fits in here pretty flat so that goes like that oh don't forget the bag of boulders so that goes all in there and then I know everything that I need for a modular cavern in the subterranean features and I'm going to be adding more stuff to this 
you know, um, it's all there. And then you can add other things, other boxes, like your miniatures. Like, so these are all my humans and stuff like that. Or you can just, like, you know, toss the ones in that, you, that you're that you going to be using that night. But um, I like to bring as, as much, have as much kind of variety as possible. So the other thing that's in here, and I don't know if you can kind of see this, that's kind of like a, a block of of uh, modular uh, dungeon features, you know, rooms, corridors, stuff like that. And mostly it fits in a four by four block. Um, and then there's some room on the side to put, you know, unusual pieces and they all fit in there. So that's a lot of stuff that you can just kind of fit into one of these bags. So in any case, I just wanted to uh, kind of let you guys know, and oh, and the other thing, of course, is that you can, you know, get multiples of these bags. They stack, and you can put your uh, DMing stuff, other things like uh, source material or uh, maps and stuff like that, and binders, and it all, you know, fits pretty neatly in these in these uh, bags, and they they pretty much hold their shape. So uh, I would suggest that um, you know, if you can, if you have an IKEA near you, you can get some of these bags. They probably, I mean, I'm pretty certain that they're uniform and standard, and they have. All of these bags are not the, they're not the big canvas bags that they you know the totes, but these are more like kind of a boxy shaped bag so and I'm not I don't you know I'm just saying I don't I'm, this is not supported by IKEA um, they, they are not uh, you know paying me to say this I'm just saying that that's where I got mine so you might be able to find something similar um, I thought about laundry bags and and stuff like that as, as maybe um, but for the price of like 250. And all these are very, very durable. You know, it's made out of really, really strong. I mean, I'm pulling, and it's really, really strong material. So, um, you know, I mean, the the uh, even the in, even the zipper looks looks pretty uh, rough and sturdy. So, um, yeah. So that's uh, an idea that you guys might want to um, try out and see if that works for you. For those people who want to be, um, you know, well organized and be able to move fast and and just put everything in the car and go. Um, I think it's real useful as opposed to like trying to carry boxes and and you know bags of stuff and you know this is all standardized and you can just put them down next to you, open them all up, and you can just pull the stuff out that you need real quick and you're just you know you're just done. So um, that's really nice. So in any case, um, this is a DMA Dungeon Master Alex. Um, I hope you guys are having a a great summer. It's summer here where I live. Um, if not, I uh, hope you're having a nice winter down in the Southern Hemisphere. Props to DMG. So, um, like, right? And uh, props to DM Scotty, who uh, both of those guys got me started on this. Uh, I'm going to continue doing projects. Uh, I have some things, but um, it's it's a bit, uh, I'm a bit, <laughs> been a bit put off just by real life. So, um, but I will continue to try to produce content for you guys to watch, and hopefully you find this interesting and uh, informative. So uh, keep crafting, as DM Scotty would say, and um, yeah, have a great one.